Defense and Space News TV report. Hello defense lovers, today we are going to discuss difference between cruise and ballistic missiles. And comparison between Pakistani missile Babur and Indian Urbaya cruise missile. Also thanks for your support, today we completed 1000 subscriber and 4000 hours watch time within 62 days. Again thanks for your support, stay with us for daily defense and space news updates. Let's come to the point. India and Pakistan have been involved in missiles development race for decades now. Both the countries are nuclear powers and have a range of ballistic missiles that can wreak havoc in the event of war. Time and again both countries have claimed that they are committed to peace and these weapons are merely for deterrence. India and Pakistan have several missiles that carry nuclear warheads. But the main focus of this article is on cruise missile technologies of India and Pakistan. Difference between cruise and ballistic missiles, ballistic are launched on a suborbital flight trajectory and spend most of their flight out of the atmosphere. It travels well outside the atmosphere and then the warhead detaches and hurtles back to Earth. Cruise missile, on the other hand, are jet-propelled pilotless aircraft designed to strike distant targets with great accuracy. They fly close to train, as compared to ballistic missiles, and even speeds are much lower. India's well-known cruise missiles are Brahmos and Nirbay, while that of Pakistan is Babur or Hat-7 missile. Comparison between Babur and Nirbay, Babur is a short-range, turbojet-powered ground-launch cruise missile whose development began in 1990s. With a launch weight around 1,500 kg, it is capable of carrying a 450 kg payload up to 700 km. Nirbay is a long-range, subsonic cruise missile designed and developed in India by the Defense Research and Development Organization. The missile has a range of more than 1,000 kilometers, weighs about 1,500 kilograms and has a length of 6 meters. The missile is powered by a solid rocket booster for takeoff which is developed by Advanced Systems Laboratory ASL. Both Babur and Nirbay can carry nuclear as well as conventional warheads. When it comes to accuracy of striking targets, Nirbay has a clear upper hand. The circular error probability, SEP of Nirbay is as low as 1 to 2 meters as compared to 10 meters of Babur. Nirbay can be launched from all three platforms, ground, air, and water. In case of Babur, the known launch vehicles have all been mobile, land-based platforms, according to DefenseUpdate.in. Although Pakistan claims that a, that a submarine version of Babur was tested successful, Indian Navy has refuted such a claim. Babur's stealth capability, when compared to Nirbay, is also questionable. When it comes to terrain hugging capability, Nirbay can fly as low as 5 MTS from surface and can circle over the target so as to strike with great precision. Nirbay can also be mounted Su-30 MKI and launched from air, whereas same cannot be said about Babur. Babur does not have Air Force version because of smaller range and heavy weight. Nirbay has had problems in the past, many of the tests of Nirbay in the past have failed or have been partially successful. The first completely successful test of Nirbay came only in November this year. The subsonic missile, designed to carry a 300 kg nuclear warhead, had failed during its first test in March 2013. Though the second test in October 2014 was a partial success. The third and fourth tests in October 2015 and December 2016 also flopped, leading to talk that the project may have to be scrapped. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe, like, comment and stay with us.